Retain gang, what's poppin', man? This your boy Tay, back at y'all again with another video, man. Hey, peace and abundance to everybody watching right now. Before we start the video, make sure you guys hit that like button. Make sure you follow me on all my socials, Discord, TikTok, IG. That way you don't miss out on any updates or content. You feel me? We are under attack. And we have been under attack for a while now. Some people that still sleep, they might not know that. But if you're awakened, you've been peeped the game. You've been hip to what's going on. And part of your awakening is you dealing with all of these demons that have been placed on you. You didn't realize since childhood that you've been collecting all this energy, all these repressed emotions and traumas. And those things don't go away. What they do is, is they all piece together and create your shadow self which are demons inside of you everything that you hate about yourself the worst parts of you that you don't want the public to see that you don't want yourself to see you hide that within when you start to awaken this is why it's so tough it's so hard you feel like you're being spiritually attacked but really all you're doing is bringing out those demons that were already inside of you that you never knew you never knew they existed you get what I'm saying from the frequencies that we tap into every single day through our phones our TV the music that we hear food that we eat these things are placing us under attack within ourselves you know, for example, you might go on IG and you looking at a viral video talking about men don't do this or women don't do this. And then you read the comments and you see all these negative comments. People just throwing their trauma out through their experience, what they've been through in their life. Oh, men ain't this, men ain't that, women ain't this, women ain't that. And then you start reading that and you start picking up some of these ideals. You start thinking that this is real life. And all you're doing is picking up demons. Other people's traumas, which are demons. Now is the time for us to fight back. You have to heal yourself. Well, Dante, how do you heal yourself? You got to cast them demons out. You know, in the scriptures, it says to be like Christ. You're supposed to live a life like Jesus, correct? Well, Jesus was casting out demons. He wasn't just sitting around telling you to believe. No, he was doing the work. He was going into churches, casting out the demons, going up to people, healing them. And you're supposed to be like Christ. So that means you're supposed to be casting out demons too. And what better place to start than with yourself? You see, too many people are worried about their neighbor Instead of worrying about themselves first. You know that scripture says. You're trying to call out the plank in your neighbor's eye. When you have a whole log in yours. You got all these demons inside of you. From your childhood that you ain't dealt with. But you want to walk around and judge others. No we got to be Christ like. Which means that you got to be out here. You got to cast out demons. You got to heal yourself. If you guys seen the movie. Um, the Green Mile. I think his name is Michael Clark Duncan. Right. And he was casting out demons. You know, the um, Tom Hanks character, when he had the kidney stone, no, he had a, a bladder infection or something like that. And remember, he grabbed him through the bars and he took it away from him. He absorbed that energy and then he released it. But those were demons he was casting out when he healed the lady who had the, the, the brain problem. I think it was like the warden's daughter or the warden's wife. And he healed her. He was casting out demons. And as a chosen one, as an enlightened one, you're supposed to be around here doing the same thing. Why do you think when you get around certain people, they start to act crazy? Or they start to, to attack you, saying little things here and there, or doing certain things? 
That's because when you get around them, your light shines on their demons. Those demons can't hide. So they come to the surface. So you'll see people start subconsciously doing things or acting a certain way. And you think they're attacking you consciously, but they're not. That's those demons coming to the surface. But that's what we're here to do. We're here to bring those demons and cast them out of people. So this is why you find yourself alone a lot of times. You don't want to be around crowds because everybody has demons. And there aren't a lot of people that's healing themselves and working on themselves, casting out those demons within. So when you get around crowds of people, the demons start going crazy. Every time you walk out the house, you're under attack. We all are. The time is now for you to fight back. For you to find yourself again. You know, when you go in and you heal those worst parts of yourself that you hidden all your life, you got to go in with love, unconditional love. Even though our shadow self holds all these demons, you still got to say, I love you. I appreciate you. Your shadow self need love too. You know what I mean? You, you, you got to forgive yourself. This is how you're going to start releasing a lot of things that you've built up over the years. It's by showing love. That's already going to lighten the load. That's going to lighten your heart. Sometimes all you got to do is look in the mirror and just tell yourself, I love me. Sometimes you need to go in meditation mode and just show love to yourself. You know what I mean? Everybody's walking around with a mask on. Everybody's holding repressed memories, repressed pain. They want to forget it. Since childhood, we've been socially engineered to fit in with society. Which means you've been taken away from yourself. You might have been in class and you might have said something. You might have asked a question and everybody's laughing at you. Why would you ask that stupid question? So then right there, that, that affected you. That was traumatizing to you. So you repressed that side of yourself and you tried to fit in with everyone. You might have dressed a certain way and people start making fun of you. Why are you wearing those clothes? Why are you dressing like that? You should dress like everybody else. And that's what you start doing. You start wearing what everybody else is wearing. You start doing what everybody else is doing. And gradually over the years, as you're getting older, you are being socially engineered to not even be a, a free thinker, to not even be yourself. And we start to repress the worst parts of ourselves that people don't validate, they don't accept. Everybody's walking around with these shadows and these demons inside, man. So you got to understand being attacked is not personal. You are going to agitate people when you get around them. Them demons cannot resist those demons cannot hide from your light and you are shining your light just by being yourself when you awaken your light automatically starts to brighten up and you start to heal yourself you have to as an awakening soul as a chosen one you have to heal yourself it's going to eat you up because now you're not sleep anymore so you see the demons you feel it Everywhere you go, you feel the energy. We got to start doing the work. Stop waiting for somebody to do it for you. Stop being afraid of your demons. You're supposed to be a child of the Most High. You're supposed to be Christ-like, following in Christ's footsteps. Even in the scripture, it tells you, as great works I have done, even greater works ye shall do. So stop being so afraid of yourself and go inside and dig them demons out and cast them out so that you can help other people, so that you can cast out demons around others. Stop inviting more demons to you. Stop allowing toxic people in your life. It's time for you to fight back. Take control over your life, your actions, your decisions, the way that you feel. Okay, I come to y'all with nothing but love, but sometimes it takes that fire to come out for people to truly understand how important this is. 
It's no more play play, man. It's not time for games anymore. There's so much stuff going on right now and everything is being upgraded to keep up with you, to try to keep you locked down. So you gotta stay ahead of the game. You have to heal. Cause I'm gonna tell you this, if you don't heal, your demons are gonna keep inviting more demons. You wonder why people, people wonder why they keep attracting toxic relationships. They wonder why they keep feeling depressed. You keep ending up in situations that you don't like. You keep bringing so much drama and chaos to your life and you wondering where it's coming from. Those demons that you've been suppressing, all that trauma and pain you've been suppressing all your life, it grows into something and then it starts to attract more demons to feed off that energy. Your life is just a projection of what you feel inside. You gotta understand that. So you gotta clean that out so that you can attract the life that you want. So let's cast these demons out, man. With that being said, guys, if you need a one-on-one -on -one consultation, I'll leave my link in my description and in my pinned comments. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. With that being said, y'all have a beautiful day, man. And I'm out. Peace.